Good morning. I am Dr. D. Anita Kumari, Associate Professor, School of Management Studies, Vistas. In today's class, we are going to discuss about winding up of the company. What do you mean by winding up? The liquidation of a company assets which are collected and sold in order to satisfy the obligation accrued is referred to as winding up. It's simply called as closing of company. When a corporation is wind up, the debt, expenditures and charges are first paid off and depress. When a corporation is wind up, the debts, expenditures and charges are first paid off and dispersed among the shareholders. When a company is subject to the liquidation, it dissolves officially and ceases to exceed. The winding up is a legal process of closing down your firm and ceasing all the operations. After the winding up of a company, the company's existence end and the asset are subject to the supervention to ensure that the stakeholder interest are not omitted. After the winding up of a company, the company's existence ends and the assets are subject to the supervision to ensure that the stakeholders interest are not omitted. A private company, a private limited company is an artificial judicial entity that requires numerous complaints. If the company fails to maintain these complaints, fines and penalties may be imposed against them as well as disqualification of the directors from subsequent incorporation of a company. It is usually preferable to wind up a firm that has become dormant or has no transaction. Procedure of mode of winding up of a company. There are two types. Compulsory winding up of a company by a tribunal. Compulsory winding up of a company by tribunal. Voluntary winding up of company. Compulsory winding up of compulsory winding up of company by tribunal. Sick company special proposal act against the state. Fraudulent conduct of business. Failure to file financial statement with the registrar. Sick company. If the firm is in a position where the creditors have a dominating position with debt dues, the committees of creditors shall appoint an administrator to hold up the winding up of the company in accordance with the tribunal ruling. This occurs when the company is in a sick state, that is, the firm is unable to pay its obligation and is not feasible to reallocate or rehabilitate such opinion and order that company may be wind up. Special resolution. If the company has agreed by a special resolution that it will wind up by the tribunal, then the said winding up is at the discretion of the tribunal. This exempt the tribunal's ability to wind up a corporation if it is contrary to the public interest or the company's interest. Act against the state. If the company commits an act that is detrimental to Indian sovereignty and integrity, the security of the state, cordial relationship with other state, public order, decency or morals, the tribunal may ask the company to wind up the company. Fraudulent conduct of business. If the tribunal believes that the company's affairs have taken place by way, if the tribunal believes that the company's affairs have taken place by way of fraud or that the reason for forming the company is for fraudulent or unlawful purpose, the tribunal has the unlimited discretion to wind up the company only after receiving an application from the register of the companies or any other person authorized by the central government. Failure to file financial statement with the register. If the company has filed, if the company has failed to file its financial statement or annual reports with the register for the last five consecutive fiscal years 
as required by the section 27 required by section 271 subsection 1 f of the act voluntary winding up of company section 304 of the companies act 2013 specifies two statutory conditions in which company may be voluntary winding up they are if the company's general meeting approves a resolution requiring the company to be wind up voluntarily as a consequence if the company's general meeting approves a resolutions requiring the company to be wind up voluntarily as a consequence of the expiration of the time for its duration if any as per its article or the concurrence or the occurrence of any event for which the articles prescribe that the company may be dissolved or if the board of the directors approve a special resolution requesting that the firm is wind up voluntarily procedure of mode of winding up of the company voluntary process Convene a board meeting with the directors and approve a resolutions with the settlement. Convene a board meeting with the directors and approve a resolution with the settlement by the directors that they have inquired into the accounts of the business and that the company has no obligations and that the company will pay from the proceeds of the assets sold in the voluntary winding up of the company. Notice calling for the general meeting of the company proposing the resolutions should be in writing in addition with relevant explanatory settlement in addition with the relevant explanatory statement pass the ordinary resolution for the company's winding up by a simple majority in the general meeting the exceptional resolution by third fourth majority the company's liquidation will begin on the date of the resolution a creditors meeting should take place on the same day or the following day after the resolution to wind up passes. If two third of the creditors agree that winding up of the company is in the best interest of the stakeholders, the company can be wind up voluntarily. The notification for appointment of liquidator. Who is a liquidator? Liquidator is the person who will be taking care of all the proceedings of the winding up. So here a notification for the appointment of a liquidator must be file with the registrar within 10 days after passing the resolution for the company winding up certified copy of the ordinary and extraordinary resolution passed at the company's general meeting for winding up must send within 30 days after the meeting the company's affairs must be subject to winding up and the liquidator's account of the wind up the liquidator's account of the winding up account should be prepared and audit thank you